Hello from Nalchik. Nalchik is my original hometown. Most of you know that I come from Rostov, but I actually grew up here in Nalchik. Nalchik is a beautiful town in the North Caucasus. And North Caucasus is a Muslim part of Russia. That's where I actually grew up. Well, the beginning of my story here in Nalchik is actually pretty sad. I moved here when I was four years old and my parents got divorced. So my mom returned to her parents. And I was just a little girl who was scared, confused. I didn't know what happened and I was missing my dad. So it was hard for me also because, as you know, I'm Russian and I'm blonde. So growing up here in the Muslim part of Russia, I was actually a minority. So if you ask me if I had a happy childhood, I would say no, I didn't. I was lonely and I was by myself almost all the time because my mom was working two jobs to support me because she was a single mom and my grandparents both were working a lot too. So when I started going to school since first grade, I got a key from our apartment. My mom put it on the ribbon on my neck so I wouldn't lose it. So I was walking to school alone and I was going back home by myself too. It was very hard and sad for me to see my classmates when they were brought to school and picked up by their parents or grandparents and I really wanted that too. But my mom and my grandparents were working all the time. So sometimes after school I would not go back home because I knew nobody was there. So I would just walk around the streets by myself feeling lonely and scared and I was just waiting till the evening for my mom to come back home then I would go back home too. This summer I was going to counseling and my counselor asked me, Oksana, what do you remember best from your childhood? And I told him, I remember being scared and lonely. So the most familiar feelings for me since my childhood were loneliness and fear. I grew up in a non-Christian family. My mom and my grandparents, they all were raised during communism time. So they were told that God does not exist. So that's what they told me. But somehow in my heart, I knew and I believed that there is a God. Maybe because I didn't have a father, so I was looking for fatherly love. And God has found me here in the Muslim part of Russia and he has called me. Nobody was praying for me. I didn't have any Christian relatives. But when I was 12, I decided that I want to go to church. Here we have mosques, but we only have one Christian church, which was this Russian Orthodox church. It's very small, so I found it and I came here by myself. Nobody invited me here and I started going here every Sunday because that was the only place where I felt peace and calm and I felt God's presence there. And I enjoyed going here every Sunday because I didn't feel lonely when I was here at this church. So when I told my mom and my grandparents that I believe in God now and I go to church, they started laughing at me. They say, Oksana, you're just a silly little girl. There is no God. So they were mocking me every Sunday when I was going to church. But it didn't stop me. I was still going to church and I told them, you know what, I will pray for you that you would know that there is a God. So that's why I wanted to share the story with you because my beginning of my story was very sad. I was feeling lonely and scared and feeling abandoned. But God has found me here in this Muslim part of the world. He has reached out to me and he called me. So I started going to this church and now I would not, I could not even believe that one day I would be a missionary living in America on the other side of the ocean and sharing God's love and good message of God's love with many, many people from all different countries. So I want to encourage you, if you feel lonely, if you feel depressed, if you feel confused and scared, try looking for God, because that's what I did. I cried out to Him and I found Him. And that's what God promises us in the Bible. He says, look for me and you will find me. So please do that. And if you have any questions, please ask me and I'll be happy to share more stories and encouraging testimonies with you, because God loves you. He does. He cares about you and He wants to be found by, by you just like he did for me. I found him and it has changed my entire life. And I want you to experience his love too. May God bless you.